Hello everybody, my name is uh, Joe Guy, and welcome back to Dark Souls. Here we are in the Demon Ruins. Today we're going to explore even more of the Demon Ruins, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to in the mood for some action against some demons. I think it's high time for a rematch with the Capra. Not that I didn't win last time, but you know, I think I could kick his ass at this point, still. High talk, high talk. <laughs> and if you're particularly observant, you may notice that I have more souls than I had at the end of the last session. That's because I actually went and did some grinding in Anor Londo. Uh, one of the benefits of being able to just warp wherever I want now. Uh, so I killed some giant sentinels for a little while. I actually leveled up faith twice, so I now have 14 faith, which will buff my miracles and, you know, allow me to work up towards getting a couple of the ones that, well, more specifically, I'm interested in being able to use a homeworld and emit force, both of which require 18 faith. So that's that's kind of a long way to go to get them, but you know, might as well start at some point. But yeah, apart from that, there's nothing else. Oh, actually, yes, yes, there is, because I definitely don't want to go into a new area with 30,000 souls. But I actually had a specific thing I wanted to do with this. I think it's high time for me to upgrade my pyromancy a little bit, and I can do that up here with Olenge. And there's a couple reasons for this, uh, one of which is that I've got this, you know, this really quite good new, I wish I'd have a quick right now, I have this great new pyromancy which I got from these guys here. So I might work to level up my achievement a little bit so I can carry more with me. And whilst fire things might not be so good for all the enemies down there, I still think, you know, in the long run this might come in handy. So, hi. Oh, hello. What is it that you need? We're friends now. Okay, so I don't really know... I don't really know where I got Pyromancy Flame plus one. I don't remember if I ever upgraded this before, but whatever. Let's do this now and we'll just ascend it, you know. I don't know how much it's going to take each time. Like, it's, it's increasing each time. Uh, I don't think it changes. Well, we're at plus five now. I just want to quickly see if the... Um, description changes. Flame medium used by various arts. Uh-huh. No. Okay, that's fine. At least I don't think so, anyway. Howdy. Man, I can do this a pretty decent amount. But, uh, I reckon, like, three more times at maximum. So, plus six. Plus seven. Okay, that's it. And that leaves me with 8,000. What we're gonna do... I'm going to use up one of the souls I have in the bank. I believe I still have these. I am incorrect. Okay. I need another 100 souls in order to get this. I need to find something small to kill. <laughs> Joy of joys. Hmm. No, there's a couple... There's a couple bad guys down there I could offer. What a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to warp to do this. <laughs> But I'm not going to subject you guys to the waiting time. Back with you in a second. <laughs> well, here we are again. <laughs> Always such a pleasure, Inge. Oh, what is... Make me walk about for that. Okay, so it looks like I'll need in the region about 22,000 more souls to get this to plus 10, which is kind of like my target for now. Um, you know, upgrading it... Yeah, it does. It, it just... It increases by magic. It looks about the skills by intelligence. Huh. That's disappointing. So this isn't maybe the best use of all those souls, but I think it's something that I kind of wanted to do in general. Plus, um, well, there's another reason I want to do this now, and um, I'll get to that shortly. Uh, well, not not shortly, like in in the future. Whatever, in the future. Below us lies the ruins of the legendary city of Isolith. Uh huh. The molten giant watches over the flame of chaos. Our fair lady and Mistress Quenark fled from the ruins. I do not know the details, and I do not ask. Hmm. That's good that you tell me about this now. Worse than like the uh -huh. Anything else? Worse than no. Okay. Thank you, Angie. Well, that's nothing that we really didn't know. It, it, he did mention a molten giant watching over the flame of chaos. Um, what the hell did they call that again in the in 
the pyromancy is all checking me, checking me attunement because I need to attune some new stuff anyway. Oh, it seems like it takes me a while to get started in these sessions. I do apologize for that, but uh, it kind of needs to be done. There's always a bit of setup required. Short strength endurance boost, but lose HP. Uh huh. I'm seeing there's any sort of non fire based ones I can get right now, but uh, nothing, nothing of the sort. Let's go with the f just basic fireball. And. Oh, I need to repair equipment as well because I was grinding for that for ages. Bam, bam, bam. Um. Mm -hmm. Here. That's a lovely amount of souls to be going into a new area with. I was. <laughs> I was gonna do something else, wasn't I? Yes, I was gonna see this stuff down here. Wasn't it, though? Yes, Craven instead the flame of chaos, a twisted bed of life. And this makes sense, doesn't it? Because. Hmm. Alright, there's this dichotomy going on. I'm not sure if that's the right use of the word dichotomy. I think it is, but <laughs> my brain isn't working properly. That there in this game there is fire. Now this can apply to either the fire that is life. Or the fire that is simply fire. The fire that burns. Now this type of fire comes from our inner self. It's actualizing the fire that lives within each person. Whereas this type of fire, the one that seems to come with lava, comes from chaos. It's interesting to me, and I'm not entirely sure where it diverges. Particularly since fire as an element seems to still harm us as, you know, physical beings, but we also, in terms of metaphysical beings, carry fire inside of ourselves. It's very confusing. But it is also quite interesting, so. Okay, so we got a little bit to go here. I'm just gonna ignore these egg carriers down here. I don't wanna have to bother with them. I really don't. You guys can eat a dick. Oh, balls. Nope. That was a bad fall. <laughs> well, I got away from the egg carriers. That's, some, that's certainly something. Hmm. Now that I increased my faith, I should be able to heal a little bit more. Oh, it's not overly impressive. I'll do it twice anyway. You know, it would be nice if, like, more faith made for more attunement slots. Uh, sorry, for more uses of spells, you know, per attunement slot. Whoop. Yeah, they're, they're slugging their way up there, that's fine. <sighs> yeah, we have a little bit to go here. I see... S five Taurus Demons? And an item at the very end. And then we have our first task for today. And the grand old tradition of kiting shit. And get him. So that guy who got distracted by the noise is coming close, so let's try attract his attention. That got him. Uh, if I get a little bit closer, I reckon he's aggroed enough to try to come for me. Yeah, you do. Awesome. Here we go. Tar Stevens, um, been a while. <laughs> I'm sure this won't be so bad. Whoop. Mm -mm -mm. Ugh. Okay. Oh, he just stood on me. This did damage to me, like, up for nothing. Whew. Oh, this guy's tough. Ugh. Why aren't you dead yet? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> I have slightly more health than before Estus. Die! Okay. That was not fantastic. <laughs> I know I can do better than that. I'm just a little bit rust rusty is all. It's okay. There's no need to go back to the bonfire. Um, it would only do me a grant of like one Estus extra. Let's just get the next one and try to do a little bit better this time, shall we? 
Really? <laughs> if I'm not careful, I'm going to attract both of those. That one guy didn't seem to mind. Yeah, there we go. Huh. Feels like I can walk through the lava unabated. I did wonder about that. I doubt I can. Okay, come here, you. Now, we're always with these. Excellent idea to do bleeding damage. Ugh. I was hoping I could stun him there, but he's very close to being dead. Go. The first mission down here. Well, second, technically, after beating Ceaseless Discharge. So, another thing I did mention was the Molten Giant. L. Oh. oh, I don't have any ammo. Oh, those are bolts. Don't need them. Uh, why don't I have those 120? I don't know. Whatever. It's done now. He said the Molten Giant watches over the Flame of Chaos. Um, uh, are they talking about Ceaseless Discharge? Because he was certainly a Molten Giant, but he wasn't watching over the Flame of Chaos. He was watching over a particular um, woman. Another daughter of Chaos. Back off. Do my best not to get hit this time. Timing my rolls better would be nice. There we go, didn't get hit at all. Moving on. <laughs> so you know it's like firing an arrow to them primes them. It makes them more pissed off and more likely to notice me for a distance. This item better be worth it, whatever it is. It's probably just a massive soul. Where's he going? He's coming this way. It's coming right for us! I don't fight this close to the lava. Oh. That's unfortunate. Miles away. I mean, practicing doing dodging with the with the timing of the sentinels. I love that move. You can tell it's range. We stamina. I got the time in there. So I'm getting a little bit better at using dodges as with with these big guys as opposed to you know waiting to well using the shield. But I've still got ways to go. That should have hit. You know, it's just him left, right? I don't need to. I need to cut him like I'm doing the others. Hola, last remaining Taurus demon. Whoop! Don't waste stamina. Dum ba dum. But, um, oh, that was close. Do an unfortunate back step, back step there at the end. Now we can go and, oh, for fuck's sake, do you see this shit? <laughs> That's just not fair. It's in the middle of a big bunch of lava. Okay, I may have a plan for this. Uh,. Before I do though, there's no, there's no other way particularly in. That's fine. Bollocks! This is bullshit. Give me my reward, God damn it. It's okay. I need to do fire defense. I don't think I have anything else that can maybe boost that fire defense. Um. Uh. Da da. No. 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 Nothing. All right. I don't know how much this is gonna hurt. You gotta be able to walk on it. I'm not afraid of sinking. I will be pissed off if I can't pull this off. Okay. I can one good jump get me in there. Okay. So it's pretty bad, but I got the item. I did die. 6,000 souls? What's that, 1,200 per Taurus even pop? That's not really worth it. 
Still, that is certainly something. What was that I got? Um, what was it? Oh, there it was. Ember for black. Oh, nice. Oh, that was well worth it. Chaos Flame Ember is an art of the lost city of Islith. Handled only by blacksmiths knowledgeable in ancient methods. Alright. Maybe the... Ooh, maybe the either the, the giant blacksmith. I don't think Andre would know. And probably not that guy trapped in uh, the ruins of New Londo. Plus five f flame weapon to chaos weapon. Demon weapons augmented by humanity which inflict fire damage. Well, that makes sense actually. The more humanity you have, the more fire damage you do. Cool. Well, that is awesome. It's maybe not something that we'll use, like, specifically. But, like, interesting nonetheless. And I'm sure any blacksmith will be happy to have this. And actually, do I kill the Taurus demons permanently? Oh, that's cool. Hmm. In that case, I suppose, like, for the sake of canonicity, that I should mention that I did come down here, like, during my grinding session and have a go at one of the Taurus, Taurus demons. Just to... Well, I was looking to grind up some souls. I didn't want to go all the way back to New Londo to do it, so I was wondering, I wonder how much how much souls those Taurus demons do. I'll give in to temptation and go and fight one now. So that's why there was five instead of a uh, instead of six, as is the usual amount for these Taurus demons. Right, there's another item over there. Are we deterred? No, we're not deterred. A flash sweat. Flash sweat, flash sweat, flash sweat. Mm. That would be a good pyromancy to have in this case. Uh, I haven't re-equipped the ring yet. Oh, I suppose I shouldn't because I am going to go across here. Doesn't look too bad. But it'll still hurt. Ah, there we go. Large solo prayer night. Awesome. Let's see if we can get back there unharmed. Hello? Go eat it. There we go. Okay. I wonder how many souls that gives. Large soul of a prayer night is going to be pretty big. Beaston, but I wonder exactly how many souls it's worth. Because if I can go and buy Flash Sweat from uh, ooh, Laurentius of the Great Swamp, I think his name is. That English guy up at Firelink Shrine. I think that would come in very handy for this area. But then again, I've never been one to particularly like buff in preparation for particular fights. But it would have come in handy when crossing that lava. Hello, Mr. Capra Demon. I'm a little bit more worried about you than I was about the Taurus demons, still I've got plenty more space to fight you now. You are still rather frightening, however. But, I reckon I can take you. You're about to bleed to death, aren't you? Well, that was... Easy peasy. Solo prayer night. Mm -mm. Pretty tempted to try, honestly. Uh, before going on, before moving on to the dizzying. Uh, okay, yes, yes. No, this is. There's nothing about this which is a bad idea. Let's go. And if this is a waste of time, is there any. If I can't afford it, I will literally just cut back. Like, no. I'll actually probably do a cut anyway. Either to me buying it in Farley Shrine or to me coming back down here dede dejected. Back with the animal. Here's a question. Why would a fire impregnate people with larva? Larvae. It makes no sense. Larva maybe grow into something important for the chaos fire? Maybe defenders or something? Just a thought. But if that was the case, why would they be all the way out here? Uncertain. Uncertain. Getting quieter around this area in particular. Hmm. Oh, he's falling asleep again, for God's sake. Hey. Oh, hello there. Hi. I'm pleased to see you safe. Thank you. As always. Yes. You can modify me as well. How nice of you. So, how much does it cost for flash sweat? Two thousand. I'm pretty sure one of the ones I have is like that. Hmm. Exceedingly heavy. Uh, reduces flame damage. Carmina. Hmm. 
Cool. Wait, friend. Where, where are you off to? Oh, sorry, that was rather in play of me. <laughs> All right, I need to use these souls, dude, so I can give you souls. Well, that's certainly enough. That was rather abrupt. You are an odd one. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Come on. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased, as always. Just goes to show, like, you never know what's going to provide you with new dialogue. And when it comes to this game, dialogue is very, um, can be very valuable. Flash sweat. There go. Never purchase more than one pyromancy. This, defense and resilience. It's really not my style. I'm kind of tempted to take it anyway. But I think I won't. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. Anything new, he says. Apparently, in the in the search for knowledge. Whew. Cool, cool. I don't have any more miracles I can buy from uh, from Petrus up there. No, I do not. Okay, cool. Gravy. Let's warp back. Uh, back to the daughter. Well, for you guys, back to the new runes. Wanders the poison swamp. Huh? Only no one has ever seen her. So who really knows? But what if she is another of the Queen Anne sisters? Our fair lady would be greatly comforted by her presence. That's interesting. Have you heard of an inhuman? Only no one has ever seen her. What if she? Our fair lady would be greatly. Hmm. That is interesting. Quilana, we heard of. Oh, it's in the bottomless box, but she had those robes. She wanders the Great Swamp, but as far as we know, she's dead down there. Her ceaseless discharge watched over. But time's funny here. Quilana's destined to die here, over there. She could still well be about. I'll have to. Well, we haven't seen her in that, uh, but in Blight Town ever. She said the poisonous one. That's clearly Blight Town. But maybe one day we'll come across her. Anyway, here we are back with Flash Sweat. Thank you very much. And I'll quit the pyromancy out just in case. I forgot to bloody a tuna as well. Ah, fuck's sake. <laughs> Swear to god we will make forward momentum eventually. God damn it. <laughs> no, here we are. Yes, you don't need fireball when you're descending into hell. What you need is fire resistance. So in the interest of thoroughness, just gonna go over here, make sure there's no item hidden behind this corner. I don't think there is. You know, I said that walkway is a building falling on its side. It does actually look kind of like a bridge. Or maybe just a reinforcement. Either way, it's not really relevant to the overarching story, is it? Yeah. Crap demon, sir. Don't you dare. There you go. Alright. Here on. Gotta be a little bit careful. Because. I'm entering an area. Which is very uncertain to me. Hmm. Okay, so we're getting more into the ruiny bit. So Los Isles was once a city. Uh, I don't like the fact that I'm indicting. I don't like how many of you. <laughs> I don't like your numbers. I don't like your faces. I don't like anything about you. But I do like shooting you guys in the face. <laughs> 
Come on. Surely I must have rustled your jimmies. Oh, come on now. You gotta be pissed off by this point. Hmm. Defeating you guys might be easier from a better from a better fitting, you know. And yeah, now you're talking. I was thinking of jumping down. Whoop. Doom. There you go. I was thinking of jumping down there. Unless I could aggro him. But I did. And so I'm not. I don't take this area in order. You guys are definitely guards. Typical low aggro distances. Pow. Weird things. Not much to me now. Unless you're smart enough to start coming at me in sets. <laughs> I love doing that. They react very strongly. Yeah, you know you want to. Krakow. <sighs> okay, they both kind of react to me there. Only when I aggro one, though. Oh, nope. Don't do that again. Phew. Grimmy. Ah, staggering you guys. That's the key to success. Awesome. That's them done. Oh, look. Already with the big white gate and yeah, another Taurus demon. And that's not a set of stairs. Where is the set of stairs? There it is. I really thought I had to lay out of this place, Dan. Whoa, 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 what the hell is that? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. Uh, I don't know. I wonder how vulnerable it is to fire. And they shot me. Ooh, pretty vulnerable. Not that vulnerable, though. It's not much. Gargoyle things. Scary though. You keep an eye out for them, that kind of blended in. Hmm. There's gotta be more of you, right? I don't hear any. What's that? What is that? Oh, hi! <laughs> Again, you scared me! What a dick, man! This is something that you'll notice happening probably more and more often. As I get into areas I'm less and less familiar with. But an item there, and what looks like a bug. Whoa! And I gotta, like, just. <laughs> uh, hang on, wait, wait, wait. I need to get myself sorted out. Alright, come on now. Okay, there's two more down there. I don't like this. For instance, what is that? Yes, as I get into more and more areas where I'm less and less familiar with things, you'll find that my level of tension increases fairly dramatically. That thing looks dead. It looks very much like it was once alive, and it looks very much like it was once one of those things. I'll have to have a better look at that from the side. It's not reacted to my arrow things and and uh hi there. No, I didn't notice you before. Bang. Huh, you're not a thing. You're not a thing. You just blend, you bastard. Okay, big wormy. Oh, well you don't aggro like that. Native testing. This is what Frollo should have done to every single gargoyle in Notre Dame. That's a bonfire. Okay. It sprays the acid from sight, but that looks like a hell of an opening there. There we go. How much damage am I doing to it? 
Whoa. So it's lunge a bit. There you go. 